Let us understand the inverse ratio and the compound ratio. Like the word itself suggests, what is inverse ratio? Inverse is what? You have been kind of uh, looking at things where, you know, for any number x, what is the inverse of x? It's 1 by x, right? Accordingly, if you just apply that principle here, one ratio is the inverse of the other ratio if their product is 1, okay? So let's say, for example, you have a is to b, which is a given ratio then the inverse ratio of this okay is equal to 1 if you just multiply this with the inverse ratio it is going to be 1 now can you find out what is the inverse ratio it is nothing but simply b upon a why because if i multiply this by b upon a this b gets cancelled here this a gets cancelled here and 1 right similarly let's say for example let's take one more example so if you have a ratio of 3 is to 6 what is the inverse of this ratio it's just obtained by making the denominator the numerator and numerator the denominator 6 upon 3 if it is x by y what will be the inverse ratio y by x right and so on second is the compound ratio now you might just have a situation where there are two ratios given to you so let's say you have a upon b which is a is to b okay and c is to d written as c upon d in that case the compound ratio of these two which is written as a is to b and c is to d can be obtained by simply just multiplying their numerator with the numerator and denominator with the denominator so you get a c in the numerator and b upon d in the denominator for example, if you have 2 is to 3, okay, and 4 is to 5 as two ratios, the compound ratio for these two can be obtained by multiplying 2 with 4 gives you 8 and multiplying 3 into 5, which gives you 15. We can just ignore this particular part over here. The correct answer is 8 by 15.